Hey, Gracie here. Today I'm going to show you some next level tools to have in your arsenal for all of your spring gardening projects. I don't know about you, but I am so ready to say goodbye to these cold, dreary winter months and say hello to spring. I've been itching to get outside and the yard and garden are begging for some fresh updates. Gardening, planting, and other outdoor projects allow us to create beauty in and around our yard. Plus, these activities are really good for our minds and bodies. And the best part is, you don't have to be an expert to take up this hobby. Some of it is trial and error, but don't overthink it. Having the right tools can really help make things easier. Now, I'm sure we can all think of the basics, a shovel, a rake, watering can. Yes, those are a must, but I spoke to the experts at English Gardens to learn about a few other tools that will make gardening this spring easy and efficient. Let's check them out. Weeding in the garden is a big task that can often take a lot of time and cause a lot of strain on our bodies. I wanna show you some really cool, helpful tools that I found. First up, Grandpa's Weeder. This has got to be the most effortless weed remover ever. No bending over or pulling or kneeling, and it's so easy to hold and carry. Really great for people of all ages. It's such a simple design, but a no-brainer, and it will last forever. Now, another great option is the Ames Long Handle Weeder. Now, this V-knot shape here is really great for removing dandelions and weeds, and it cuts really deep below the surface of the roots. It can also be used to help with digging and planting. And this dandelion weeder is also another one that I can actually speak to. I used this a lot in my garden last summer and it was super helpful. It's basically the handheld version of this one. Really great for dandelions, small weeds. Um, again, this V-knot shape is super helpful for cutting into those roots. Now, I wasn't really sure what a gardening hoe was used for and why I might need one, but let me show you what I learned. Basically, a gardening hoe is used to stir and mold the soil to cultivate a garden, and it can also help to dislodge weeds. Have you ever heard of the action or hula hoe? Okay, me neither, but these are a must. Both of these are long handle versions, so they're strain free, and they use a back and forth push pull motion to cut roots deep and cultivate the soil. Really does cut weeding time in half. And the hula hoe name comes from its sort of hula motion that makes it super efficient. Okay, and last but not least, some final must-haves. I learned how important lawn aeration is. It helps to make sure your grass gets adequate water and nutrients. Plus, it loosens soil for proper root development. Now, the spike aerator here has sharp tines that cut into the ground to help make holes that help to aerate your lawn. Spike aeration is a great option for small lawns, so this one might be good for me. Next up, a thatching rake. This is another great tool for the lawn. Basically, it's an all-purpose lawn rake. The curved tines here really help with clearing grass clippings and allow proper nutrients to reach the grass. And finally, the root slayer. This one sounds like something out of a fantasy movie. This is a multi-purpose tool that can take care of a lot of common gardening tasks. It can act as a shovel, a root saw, a root hatchet, and is ergonomically designed to reduce strain and make gardening easier. And there you have it. With the right tools, all of your gardening projects can be a breeze. For products used in this video, check out the description below. Product availability does vary by location and inventory changes frequently. Stop into any English garden store today to find everything you need to make life beautiful. Stay tuned for more episodes of Let's Grow. Happy spring. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more ways to make your life beautiful.